What's up guys? Well, I did some overclocking. I put my CPU up to back up to 3.8 GHz just to see if it'll, you know, not crash because of the heat. Now that I don't have two GX2s making my room into a furnace. Because the GTX 480 seems to pretty much exhaust all the heat it makes right out of the case. A little bit, of course, escapes in the case. That's, you know, impossible to prevent. But uh, regardless, we got 20,475 3D marks. And that's with the 480 only at uh, 800 core and uh, 1950 on the memory. And it's GDDR5 memory, so I don't know what that actually makes it. I'm terrible at math. But, uh, yeah. So now I'm going to run some uh, Vantage and see what it, how much it improved on that. Okay, so we got 23,433 3D marks. That's an improvement. Uh, GPU is 19,930, and somehow I think that's fake, because I don't think uh, Phenom can get to 50,000, or 49,566, but don't know what's up with that, but uh, anyway. And the rest of the tests, information. Alright, now I'm going to run Crisis benchmarks and whatnot. I really need to get more benchmarks, seeing as the Crisis is not really all that impressive anymore. I need to get some new games and whatnot. But anyway, let's move on to that. So for the uh, Crisis benchmark, again, we're going to run everything on very high at 1920 by, or no, it's 1900 by 1200, that's random. Could have sworn that used to be 1920 by 1200, but anyway. And 16x, any of these things, 64-bit DirectX 10, it's all queued up, and then I'll start the video back up when it's all done. Alright, well this time we got a minimum of 14.96, a max of 34.93, and an overall average of 30.835, so that's like a 2-3 frames per second increase. Which seems a little low to me. I don't know, maybe my CPU is still holding this card back. I have no idea. Um, so let's move on to Warhead and see if Warhead improves about the same. Alright, for Christ Warhead, we're going to be around the same thing. Enthusiast, 1920 by 1200, 16x and aliasing, and DirectX 10. Add that to the queue. And launch and then I will come back when it's all done. So that benchmark got me a minimum of 20 frames a second, a max of 54.55 frames a second, and an overall average of 38.7. I think that's like five or six frames a second more. I'm not sure. I'd have to go back and look, but that's definitely an improvement. So now I'm just going to run the Heaven benchmark see if I made any improvements there. Alright, well, let's have a benchmark 2.0, everything's Mac, DirectX 11, high shaders, extreme tessellation, 16x anastrophic filtering, and 8x and aliasing, and 1920 by 1200. Gonna click run, and then I will start the camera back up when it's all done. Oh, that's an improvement. I think before I only got 27,000 or something, or 26, I can't really remember off the top of my head. This is a pretty amazing card. Definitely happy with my purchase. Now I just need some better cooling, probably water cooling my card, maybe get a second one, I don't know. That might be a waste of money, seeing as though this one plays pretty much everything I need it to flawlessly. But yeah, I'll definitely make a, uh, another video when I get some more components. So until then, peace out guys.